Hi, Nihon. I'm Chef Tom. Here I get one inch thick cut of bone ribeye from my uh, local butcher shop. They did a great job for me here. So I just put some kosher salt and I got this special like 14 spices rub from Eastern Market. I got it last weekend. I'm going to try it out. It's great to try out different spices, different way of cooking protein. I'm the one responsible for protein today. And my wife doing the salad and we have friends going to bring a bunch of other side dish. It's going to be a great party. So I'm just going to add some kosher salt and the spice and some black pepper. So I use my left hand to be the clean hand. The right hand I can use to marinate the meat. We're going to put all this on the grill. Here we go. More salt. And more spices. Make sure you generously put the salt because half the salt after you grill it's going to be disappear. So here we go. Give them a nice flavor. You just have to play around it. This is done. Here I got some German sausage. Locally made. I got some pork loin. And I got different kind of rub for the pork loin. I got this from the Eastern Market too in Detroit. They have a wonderful store that you can um, go during the weekend. They have a bunch of vendors outside and you can talk to them. If you have any questions, you can ask them. They're very nice people to help you out. So again, I use one hand, which is my right hand, to touch the meat and the left hand to do the spices. Simple as that. So you don't get confused. Like that. Give them a nice flavor. Some black pepper. And I preheat my outdoor grill nice and hot and make sure you clean it good. So I preheat the grill for like 10 minutes and I clean it, brush it ready to go. Now I keep it on high heat. I'm gonna spray paint it a little bit like that. And now the grill is really hot. We're gonna put the steak in. We want the steak to have a nice charred mark on it. Get them a really nice flavor. And then I'm gonna put the pork loin in. The sausage cooked pretty very quick so we put it in the last now I'm gonna cover up get them at like a one minute get them nicely charred now I'm gonna get them a, like 2 to 10 o'clock turn around so get them a really nice charred mark This time my grill is still in high. It's going to look so beautiful. So now, I'm going to give them a quick flip to see how beautiful that is. Oh yeah. You want to cook everything evenly. Beauty. Very nice. See all the spices, the spice rub, give them a really nice color. So now I'm gonna turn the heat to medium low. This is the best and easy way to make steak and protein on the grill at home. So what I do is I try to pick one of the thicker cut like this one. I insert a denominator in, and then I simply just close it and monitor the temperature. You can see the temperature right here keep rising, 93, 94, and this depends how 
you like your steak to be done medium rare or medium or well done I like to keep my steak around like a 120 between 120 to 125 and then we're gonna take it out and let them rest it's about 125 now it's ready Feel it. that's medium rare that's how I like my steak to be done I'm gonna take it out check my pork loin make sure it's about 145 146 this is good to eat the pork loin is about 133 so we're gonna let them cook a little bit longer and we're gonna let the steak rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes they still carry on the cooking which means the temperature will still arise beauty can I give them a quick brush too like this and we're gonna move the pork loin down a little now it's about 138 My grill is still medium low, so it's perfect to cook the sausage right now. Spacing out a little bit. Give them a change to cook. I'm going to use a aluminum foil to cover up the steak. Let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Look at how beautiful that is. It's very nice. Beautiful. You gotta be patient to cook sausage. It's gonna be nice, flavorful inside. Delicious. Looking good. I can handle really half food with my hand. Otherwise, you can use your tool, your tongue to do that. Don't try this at home. Very nice. Just rotate a few minutes. Every few minutes, give them a rotation. The same way. And then I'm going to use a dynamometer. I want the temperature about 150, between 150 to 155 should be good. Close it. Now it's 155. I turn, take this out. Now I turn the heat to really high because I want to give them a nice brown color char. I'm just going to keep flipping. Ah, oh, it's very nice looking so good I like this easier to do it this way I want to preserve the juice in the sausage it's a nice texture delicious now the grill is really hot beautiful grill I'm just going to leave the cover open like that. You start to see the brown really quick with the high heat. Pick down a little bit like that is good. Get them one more flip. 
Okay, now it's done. We're gonna take it out. Again, I'm gonna use the aluminum foil to cover up to let the protein rest for 10 minutes so they will preserve all the juice in there. Well, today we cook a lot of meat, so I'm gonna cover up with a high heat and just let them clean up, burn everything else for like five to 10 minutes. Now we burn out all the residue. So it's easier for you to brush through like that. And then we turn the grill off. With this beautiful steak, yes. I hope you liked the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.